Hello and welcome to Count Between Days. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. Hey, let's just jump right in. Let's say you are trying to count something that has a duration that spans multiple days. Uh, you know, some examples that come to mind are a hotel guest checks in, stays for one or multiple days, and then checks out, and you want to count the number of guests in the hotel on any night. Um, or a patient checks into the hospital, stays for a few days, checks out, you want the, the nightly totals. Um, you're doing a manufacturing uh, of a widget and it takes a couple days to go through the process. How many are open or how many are in production? Uh, orders are open for you know span of multiple days. You want to count how many open orders every night, stuff like that. So in this case, let's look at the, um, the example of, of a hotel. And here we have every guest and we have the date they checked in and the date they checked out. And we would like to count the number of guests um, on any night. Okay, and depending on what you're working on, you know your example might be different, but, but this is the basic idea. Now to do this, we're gonna use a function called count ifs. And if you are unfamiliar with it, it's a, it's a beautiful function. Um, and and it, it's designed to count the number of rows where one or more conditions are met. Okay, count the number of rows where one or more conditions are met. And each condition is defined by a pair of arguments. So officially they're called the criteria range one and criteria one, and then criteria range two, criteria two. But that's a little you know, techie, so here's kind of the narrative that I use uh, when, I, when I'm writing this function. I, I, it sounds to, to like this. Um, count the number of rows where, and then you'd say uh, this column, comma, is equal to this value, comma, and where this column, comma, is equal to this value, okay? That's what it sounds like. And so as you can see, each condition is made up of a pair of arguments, all right? Now, these particular arguments don't make much sense here because we don't wanna count the number of rows where um, the check-in date is exactly equal to the date that we're testing and where the checkout date is exactly equal to this date. There are no you know, situations where, where this is true. So if we hit zero, uh, enter, we're gonna see we have a zero. The trick to this whole technique is conditional operators, okay, or comparison operators. And what we really want to, to do is we really want to count the number of rows where they checked in before the night that we're testing or equal to and where they checked out after the night that we're testing. Okay, those comparison operators. And the way that we do that is by modifying this argument and this argument. And what we, what we need to do is put in our comparison operators. That's just a techie term. It's the, you know, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, stuff like that. But we can't just type in something like is less than or equal to. See how this lost its red formatting? That means Excel saying, you know, I, I don't understand. So all we need to do is enclose the comparison operator inside of quotes. So we do two quotes and then we do less than or equal to. And still we lost our red formatting so Excel's like, I don't really understand. So the next step is to combine the comparison operator and the cell reference with a concatenation um, command. And we can do that with the concatenation operator, which is the ampersand. We could use a couple of different functions depending on your Excel version. For me, I'm just gonna go with the concatenation operator. When I do that, now all of a sudden we get our red formatting and Excel's like, okay, now I know what you're trying to say here. So what we're trying to say is count the number of rows where the check-in date is earlier than or is less than or equal to the night that we're testing, okay, and where the checkout date is, okay, and what, what this needs to be is, is greater than, right, they have to check out after the night that we're testing. And is it greater than or equal to or greater than? Well, when they check out on a date, they're not there that night, they were only there the night before, so we're gonna go with greater than, but depending on the thing that you're working on, you're gonna understand that you can modify um, you know, these comparison operators as, as needed. Maybe it's just less than, 
find less than or equal to. So it just kind of depends on what you're working on. But here, in this illustration, we want to get it where they've checked in on or before the night we're testing, and they check out after the night that we're testing. And I think this looks good. So we should be able to hit enter and let's test it out on the first, how many people were here. So we got this person and they were still there on the night of the first. This person, they were still there on the night of the first and none of these people checked in. So that looks good. Let's fill this all the way down and let's test the next one. So January 2nd. All right, so on January 2nd, we have this person who is still here. This person was checked out. They weren't there on the night of the second and no one else has checked in. So a count of one looks good. Let's just test one more. January 3rd, this person was there, this person was there, and this person was there. So we expect a count of three, which we got, and we could continue testing these all the way down, but I think we look pretty good there, okay? So that is how to use the COUNTIFS function, right, which is designed to count the number of rows where one or more conditions are met, and use comparison operators so that we can count the number of uh, rows that are less than or equal to, and we can also use greater than uh, two different dates. Okay, hey, thanks for joining me. Hope it helps. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 